Have you ever wondered why reality seems to be changing so quickly or why you feel that something profound is transforming within you, but you can't quite put your finger on it in the world? We live in, we often talk about the third dimension and the fourth dimension, but what does it really mean to be? In one dimension or another, and how does it affect our life experience, the reality of the third dimension is. What many of us know and are accustomed to it is a world based on identification with the ego separation and the linearity of time it is the reality where experiences are often interpreted through labels, judgments, and a sense of limitation. On the other hand, the reality of the fourth dimension represents a significant shift. It is a level of consciousness where we begin to connect more deeply with our spiritual essence in this dimension, we realize that we are creators of our own reality and that our experiences are reflections of our internal vibrations and intentions. Time is no longer seen as linear, but as a series of interconnected present moments. So today we will explore a topic that may help answer some questions, the signs that you are in the fourth dimension and how to make a conscious, complete, Transition to this new reality, let's explore these signs together and discover how we can further align ourselves with the vibrant energy of the fourth dimension, living a fuller and more conscious life. So with that in mind, let's dive into the details of this fascinating journey of ascension and transformation to understand the depth of the transition from the third to the fourth dimension we first need to define. What dimensions are, in a clear and simple way, dimensions can be seen as levels or layers of reality that determine how we perceive and interact with the world around us. Each dimension has its own vibrational characteristics and patterns of experience. The third dimension is the reality in which most of us live and are familiar with in it perception is based on duality and separation. It's the world where... Things are perceived as solid and distinct from each other. The consciousness in the third dimension is strongly linked to the ego individual identity, and material achievements experiences are filtered through the five physical senses and often limited by social and cultural conditioning the ego can. Be seen as the part of our identity that identifies with the individual self separate from others and the world around us. It is constructed through personal experiences, beliefs, social and cultural conditioning, and tends to operate based on duality. The self versus the other, this identification with the ego creates a sense of separation we see, often in competition with others or the environment, the rational mind guided by the ego constantly seeks to label, categorize, and judge experiences, creating a View of the world that is linear and often limited identification with the ego also feeds the cycle of desires and aversions we are continuously seeking gratification to validate our identity and feel complete. This cycle can lead to frustration, anxiety, and suffering as this action obtained through external means is often temporary and unsatisfactory in the third dimension time is linear, which means we experience events sequentially past, present, and future. We live our lives moving through a timeline that extends from the past to the present and into the future. This linear view of time profoundly shapes our way of thinking. And acting the past is seen as a series of fixed events that shape our war. Current beliefs and perceptions, our past experiences, influence our present decisions, often limiting our ability to see new possibilities or change old patterns we are frequently stuck in memories and traumas that prevent us from moving forward the present in the third dimension is often overshadowed by worries about the past or planning for the future the true experience of now is rare as the mind is constantly wandering reflecting on past events or anticipating future ones this prevents us from fully living the moment and Enjoying the rich of the present experience, the future is perceived as a time yet to be reached full of uncertainties and possibilities. Anxiety and fear of the unknown can dominate leading us to try to control and predict what is to come. 
we plan and worry about the future, often at the expense of our present well-being. This linear perception of time creates a continuous cycle of action and reaction, where our past experiences inform our present actions, which in turn shape our future. The fourth dimension is a state of expanded consciousness. In this dimension, we begin to perceive the interconnectedness of all things. Time is no longer seen as linear, but as a series of present moments, this allows us to access past memories and future possibilities in a more fluid way, as this is a dimension where consciousness is. Higher emotions and intentions eventually play a crucial role in the creation of reality here. The separation between the ego and the spiritual essence begins to dissolve, allowing for a greater connection with our true self and the universe. The most notable difference between the third dimension and the fourth dimension is the way we perceive and relate to reality in the third dimension we are. Often stuck in cycles of repetitive thought, emotional patterns, and automatic behaviors, it is a dimension where fear and limitation predominate, often driven by de-rooted beliefs, in a materialistic view of life. In the fourth dimension, the perspective changes drastically. We begin to understand that. We're co-creators of our experiences. Consciousness expands, allowing us to see beyond physical and mental. Limitations, our emotions, and intentions begin to shape our reality in a more direct and tangible way. Instead of being dominated by time and the ego, we start to operate from a space of presence and alignment with our higher purpose. But the transition to the fourth dimension is not just a change in perception, but a significant evolution in the soul's journey. It is a process of spiritual awakening that allows us to live more authentically and connected. When we move into the fourth dimension, we begin to leave behind old patterns and limiting beliefs that kept us trapped in the third dimension. That's why this transition is vital for our spiritual growth and development it allows us to access at. Deeper level of inner wisdom and connect us with universal energy in a more profound and meaningful way, it is a Dimension that offers us the opportunity to live in harmony with our true purpose and to create a reality that reflects our highest aspirations. This also includes a greater sense of peace and well-being, more harmonious relationships, and a life more aligned with our values and passions. The first sign that you are in the fourth dimension is the increase in awareness and the acceptance of personal responsibility. This Change in perspective is fundamental all to the transition to the fourth dimension and reflects a deeper level of understanding about the nature of reality and the role we play in creating our experiences in the third dimension. The common perception is that we are victims of circumstances. Life is seen as something that happens to us, often beyond our control. This view is deeply rooted in the identification. With the ego, which constantly seeks to blame external factors to justify negative experiences or challenges, but when we enter the fourth dimension, we begin to realize that we have an active responsibility in creating our reality personal responsibility in the fourth dimension means recognizing that our beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions are the driving forces that shape our experiences. It's not about blame. But about empowerment, it is understanding that by changing our vibration and our consciousness, we can transform the quality of our life. This makes us conscious co-creators of our reality. It means using our intentions and emotions to manifest our aspirations and dreams. Practices like visualization, positive affirmations, and meditation become powerful techniques to align our energy with. Our goals and attract desired experiences into our lives when we start to see ourselves as co-creators of our own reality. A significant transformation occurs in the way we live this perception, allows us to take the reins of our existence and frees us from the limitations imposed by the ego and external circumstances by accepting that we are responsible for our experiences, we become more empowered.
This means we are no longer passive victims, but active A agents in our own destiny. We can consciously choose how to respond to any situation and shape our future according to our deepest desires. This generates a change in perspective. The perception of personal responsibility helps us see challenges and obstacles as opportunities for growth. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by difficulties, we begin to ask. Effectively help to resolve conflicts constructively or when we face negative emotions like anger or sad sadness. In the fourth dimension, we recognize these emotions as indications of areas that need healing or attention. Instead of blaming others for our feelings, we seek to understand the root of these emotions and work on them through self-care and self-reflection practices. In other words, personal responsibility involves making conscious choices that promote growth and well-being for ourselves and others. The second sign that you are in the fourth dimension is being present in the moment being present is a powerful practice that allows us to live fully and consciously, deeply connecting with the now and elevating our life experience in the third dimension as we discussed before the perception of time is Linear, which often leads us to lives stuck in the past or anxious about the future, this constant oscillation between what has already happened and what is yet to come prevents us from experiencing the true richness of the present moment. The fourth dimension, on the other hand, invites us to abandon. This linear perception of time and anchor ourselves in the now when we are fully present, we are able to experience life in its entirety, our senses become sharper, our emotions more authentic and our mind clearer being present in the moment allows us to respond to situations more consciously and balanced instead of reacting automatically based on old patterns to develop presence. Various techniques can be practiced, but meditation and mindfulness are the most effective by dedicating a few minutes a day to Meditate, we begin to slow down the incessant flow of thoughts and connect with our inner essence. There are various forms of meditation, such as breath-focused meditation, guided meditation, and transcendental meditation, each offering a unique path to achieving presence. So choose one that you initially identify with and try to practice it regularly. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is the practice of Bringing full attention to everyday activities, this can be done in various ways, such as paying attention to details while doing simple tasks like washing the dishes, walking, or eating the goal, is to be fully present in the activity, observing thoughts and sensations, without judging them mindfulness. Teaches us to live in the present moment with acceptance and curiosity, helping us create a deeper connection with our daily. Experience the practice of presence transforms our perception of reality in various ways. First of all, it allows us to experience a sense of peace and contentment that does not depend on external circumstances. When we are present, we are in a state of full acceptance where there is no resistance to. What is this frees us from anxiety and stress, creating an inner space of calm and balance in the fourth? Dimension reality is seen as an extension of our inner consciousness. By being present, we begin to perceive the interconnectedness of all things and understand that we are part of a greater whole. This perception elevates us and inspires us to live according to our values and life purpose so we can. Say that presence gives us the power to shape our experiences, intentionally aligning our actions with our Spiritual and personal goals, the third sign that you are in the fourth dimension is the disconnection from old structures. This is a clear sign that you are transcending the reality of the third dimension and aligning with the expansive consciousness of the fourth dimension, the disconnection from. Old structures begins with identifying the third dimensional beliefs and patterns that no longer resonate with our new Vibration in the third dimension, we are often shaped by systems and structures that promote separation fear and limitation. These structures can include ingrained beliefs about who we are, how the world works, and what is possible for us. Often these beliefs are inherited from our family culture and 
society and can keep us stuck in repetitive and limiting patterns. For example, a common belief in the third. Dimension is that success is measured exclusively by material achievements and social status. This view can lead to an incessant pursuit of external validation, leaving us constantly dissatisfied and disconnected from our true purpose. Another limiting structure is the belief in scarcity, which makes us believe that there is not enough for everyone and that we need to compete to secure or share this. Scarcity mentality can generate fear, greed, and distrust. These limiting structures and beliefs appear in various ways. In our lives, we can notice them in our automatic thoughts, emotional reactions, and habitual behaviors. For example, we may find ourselves thinking that we are not good enough or that we will never succeed regardless of our efforts. We may also find ourselves stuck in toxic relationships or Situations that make us unhappy feeling that we can't change the process of letting go of these old structures is essential for the transition to the fourth dimension. This process begins with awareness we need to become aware of the beliefs and patterns that no longer serve us. This awareness can be achieved through self-reflection meditation and mindfulness practices, which help us observe our Thoughts and emotions without judgment once we identify these limiting beliefs. The next step is to question them. Ask yourself, is this belief really true? Is it helping me grow and live? According to my purpose, often by questioning our beliefs, we discover that they are based on fears and illusions not. Universal truths, this, this questioning process allows us to release these beliefs and replace them with. New perspectives that empower us besides questioning the practice of letting go is fundamental letting go of old structures, involves releasing the need for control and allowing the new to enter our lives. This can mean leaving behind relationships, jobs, or habits that are not aligned with our new vibration. It can be a challenging and emotionally intense process, but it is necessary to create space for the new this. Process also includes cultivating beliefs and habits that promote connection, love, and abundance. For example, we can adopt the belief that we are infinitely creative and capable, beings that the universe is abundant, and that there is enough for everyone we can also cultivate daily practices that raise. Our vibration, such as gratitude, meditation, and doing acts of kindness, this all makes us feel a greater sense of freedom and possibility, and our lives begin to reflect our heightened awareness, another essential point in this transition to the fourth dimension is the raising of vibration. The vibration we maintain determines the quality of our experiences and our ability to align with the reality of thy. Fourth dimension in the third dimension, we often operate at lower frequencies due to negative emotions which are frequently stimulated by limiting beliefs and identification with the ego these emotions not only affect our mental and emotional well-being, but also create a barrier that prevents us from accessing higher levels of consciousness. Raising our vibration means increasing the energetic. Frequency with which we resonate this can be done through practices that promote physical, emotional, mental, and Spiritual well-being, when we raise our vibration, we enter a state of harmony and alignment with the higher frequencies of the fourth dimension. This means we start to see more synchronicities, opportunities, and positive relationships manifesting in our lives. The law of attraction, for example, works. More efficiently, when we are in a high vibration because our intentions and desires are amplified and materialized more easily the energy we radiate when we are in a high vibration also positively affects those around us, creating a more harmonious and peaceful environment. Another crucial benefit of maintaining a high vibration is the mental and spiritual clarity it brings when we are at a high. Vibration, our mind becomes calmer and more focused, allowing us to make more conscious decisions. Aligned with our life purpose, this also makes us more receptive to intuition and spiritual guidance, helping us navigate life with greater confidence and wisdom. 
As we walk through this journey of raising consciousness and transitioning to the fourth dimension, I realize that each one of us possesses an immense inner power and an unlimited potential to create a reality filled with love, peace, and harmony. Believe that the key is to recognize our divine essence, take responsibility for our experiences, and raise our vibration to resonate with the highest energy of the universe. So I hope you can embrace this transformation, trusting in your ability to manifest a life aligned with your deepest purpose, and radiate light to everyone around you, believe in yourself, follow your heart, and remember that you are the Creator of your own reality, thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts. Reflections and experiences, thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.